The match is off and underway. McAtee passes the ball back towards Norwood, who immediately distributes it out towards the far side. McBurney into the middle of the park to Anjai. Beats the first man, turns past the second. Lovely trick of the feet up to the edge of the penalty area. Clouded out, wins it back, and then crowded out again. Sheffield United on the front foot here, turning over the ball, it's Bogle. Support is there, in goes the cross, and it's straight into the midriff of the outrushing Joe Lumley. Tom Ince cantering through the centre circle. He's allowed to push a Sheffield United retreat to the edge of the penalty area. In it goes, and uh, the ball screams through the 18-yard box. Here's Illiman and Jai. The Senegal World Cup star who scored that quite wonderful winner against Tottenham Hotspur oh, the other day. It. Here he is, slaloming to the edge of the penalty area. Oh. Gets it back from McBurney. And he cut through into the penalty area. Back it comes to Berger. Lovely arcing ball out to Bogle. It sits up nicely for Bogle, who got the winner uh, here last season against Reading. Bogle has Basham on the overlap to the dead ball line. In goes the cross. Heads go up. McBurney's oh. header. Sander Berger, big things expected of uh, him today. The Norway international. Here's Bogle controlling it beautifully oh. with his left boot. The clearance goes up rather than away from Naby Sarr. Holly McBurney's making a real nuisance of himself and Reading have been forced into a poor clearance. Here's Bogle, oh. in goes the cross. It zips through the six-yard box. The ball is punted up to the edge of the penalty area. The uh, jumping Carroll makes a nuisance of himself. Walker Guinness with the cross, hit fiercely. Out to Ince, who tries to curl the shot. He arced his body before hitting it. Long will just hold up play. Into Ince. Ince drops his shoulder, looks to his right, picks out Thomas Holmes. The cries of shoot. Here's McAtee off the knee. He's uh, forced to veer towards the corner flag on the near side, which is the Shoots. blades left. Worked in field to Berger, who does bend one. It will be a corner then. Hit low trajectory into the penalty area. McBurney stretching. It's only partially cleared back to Norwood here. The ball is swirling. Into the box it goes. Heads go up. Andy Carroll's underneath it. The giant former Newcastle frontman does enough. Robinson ends up on his midriff as he flicks the ball back into McAtee. Now Berger, back out wide again to Robinson. Second touch to cross. Diving headed clearance away by Holmes. Tied to the touchline, it's Bogle. Bogle is immediately closed down by Guinness Walker. Into Njai. The ball needs recovering, a little scrappily. And here's low! And low left-footed. The red and white shirts lurk just outside the penalty area. It goes cross-field. Flicked on by McBurney, up in the air. A Scuffed clearance might drop in here for the Scotland international. He uh, crashes into Andy Yeardham. Two players with Barnsley on their CV. Reading go long and now Ince knocking it on, taking on low for pace. Up to the corner of the penalty area. Long gets involved now. Here's Hendrick. It slipped wide to Guinness Walker. Sheffield United shirts shuffle back into the box. Yeardham's downward header. And it's... In the end, it's glanced off his forehead. Here, the ball goes long. McAtee driving inside the penalty area. Almost running out of play. Basham now racing on the overlap. Turns his marker, tries to go round well uh, the defender at the second attempt. Guinness Walker gets in the way, and it will be a corner. Crowded out by the blue and white of Reading. In it goes into the penalty area. Here's Ince. Looking left and right, orchestrating, waving his arms like a matador. In comes Yeardham's cross. Carroll is rising. Lovely one-two with Njai. Low works the ball into McAtee. 30 yards out and encroaching on the edge of the penalty oh. area. Oh, Bogle's first time cross mm. is very poor indeed. Expect a long throw from the far side. This one speared in towards the six-yard box. It's gone up rather than in like an arrow. Now Reading a counter-attacking. Here's Ince, in goes the cross. And two hands above the head from West Fodringham. Yeared him now for Reading. Now Ince, 35 yards out. He shoots! Well, it is half-time. As the second half begins, the Blades play from uh, left to right as uh, we look. Basham will head the ball clear of the right corner of the pass. Penalty area, Holmes, 101st appearance. Gets it back once again, first time cross, knocked into the penalty area, Carroll as the heads go up. Here's Andy Carroll, bends one in the end, having controlled it. McBurney wins it back here, driving towards the dead ball line, flicks the ball through the six-yard box. 
Now Carroll through oh. the middle of the park to Ince. It might break here for Yeardham, whose first time shot cannons back off Ince. Berger brings it clear, uh, levers Yeardham out of the way, and now the counter attack is on. And McAtee pings it through the middle, knock it into space where Elliman and Jay's first touch is heavy. The second is a cross, but it's sailed out of play. Elliman and Jay wins it back. Good low centre of gravity as he gets Sheffield United moving, and it's played forward, and it's a foot race, and McAtee was racing up to the edge of the penalty area. Ince threading it wide to Carroll, whose first time cross is blocked by Berger, and it goes behind for a corner. He steps up left-footed, hits it with good pace. Carroll flew at the ball uh, with McBurney. Berger now spins one to the near side and Bogle. He traps it. Basham on the overlap is just a decoy. In goes the cross, the linesman's flag went up straight away. This one has good distance on it. Saar with the flick on it will come into the penalty area. Hendrick overshot the ball with his run. And now the counter-attack is on. Berger releases McAtee. He's got Njai peeling down the centre of the pitch, but Ince has matched McAtee stride for stride. Now McAtee inside left channel of the box. Beats the first man and the second, then shoots. It's off the legs of McIntyre. And Reading will scramble it clear with Ince hammer it away down the far side of the pitch Great. Reading's turn to counter-attack and Long is striding forward he's going to get there ahead of Basham Long now, driving Basham back through the middle, great defending by John Egan, Bogle looks up threading the diagonal ball forward, McBurney's on side of the dead ball line, cut yes. back and a goal! And Sheffield United have taken the lead Illiman and Jai Right man, right place, right time as Sheffield United steal a lead on Reading here. Great work by McBurney, who got to the ball for the cutback just in the nick of time. And you want nobody else other than Illiman and Jai. It's Reading nil, Sheffield United won. McBurney who will turn to win McIntyre's header, he will slip it into Njai, again he's got it back in the D, needs support, gets it Bogle, he shoots, in the end took a deflection, Norwood with the corner from the far side, the left, whipped high right footed, McBurney's underneath it, off the chest and in the end from the tightest of angles, it's veered behind, here's the cross in it goes, looking for the uh, leg of Carroll, then Yerum Inside right channel of the penalty area. Boy, did he let fly. Now Carroll. Lots of intricate possession there as Reading swing it wide. In it goes Carroll! And a brilliant one-handed save from Wes Fodringham. In comes the corner, high into the penalty area. The ball will pinball into McBurney, who stumbles backwards as he volleys that ball away. Reading will come again here. Nervous moments for Sheffield United. Away to our left-hand side. Diving headed clearance and a brave one too as well. Low, racing forward. Gets onto a chip ball, into Billy Sharp! First time effort, and I was just waiting for the net to bulge. Norwood will take it, hit with a low trajectory. Oh, oh! and Egan from a planned training ground move in canters out towards the far side there right fizzes in the cross Hendrick was stealing in not unnoticed but it was still an important header away danger ain't over yet in comes the Reading corner from Ince scissor kicked up in the air by Norwood McBurney crashes on the header and recovers it himself then he's fouled in the middle of the park surely in now to Ince bends in the cross heads go up Carroll went for it, went down like a sack of spuds. Never on this earth would that have been a penalty. Deep in added time, Sheffield United leading thanks to Illiman and Jai's goal, defending the edge of the penalty area, and that's it, full time!